everybody, this is Kathy Cook from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to talk to you about radar and specifically airport radar. So this is a radio frequency exposure that often flies under the radar. That was, I did not plan that, that just happened. It really does fly under the radar because people don't realize they're being exposed to it even from quite a distance away. So I am in Reno, Nevada right now and I'm about five and a half miles from the airport. But what I found is I'm actually picking up some, some of the radar, even at this distance. So I've got two meters here. Here's my Safe and Sound Pro 2. And I'm going to turn the sound on so you can hear what the radar sounds like. So that's cell tower. But that little blip that was radar, so I'll try to capture it again. So you can barely hear it. Hopefully that came through on the uh, phone. It is that little, it's a little blip every five seconds or so. It is airport radar. I've also got a cornet, an old cornet um, meter. And I'm gonna try and see if we can get it on this meter as well. So I can't quite hear it on the cornet. I did a little, a little bit earlier. Um, so I was getting the sound on both of these meters. And so, you know, five, five and a half miles away and I am still picking up the radar. Um, I'm gonna head closer to the airport to see how high that goes. But this is something that I want you guys to think about because I have been in uh, people's homes where most of the frequencies look really low, everything looks really good, but the person is still symptomatic. And when I was doing my radio frequency assessment, we identified that it's the radar. And I um, have used some meters that did not pick it up. Um, so that's important to know. Not every meter is sensitive enough that it's gonna actually pick up that radar. Uh, the Safe and Sound Pro 2 does an excellent job of that. And I, I have since helped some homeowners identify, oh, I'm getting you know, 3,000 microwatts per square meter every five seconds or whatever it is, which is significantly higher than we want. We want our number to be under 10 microwatts per square meter. So uh, when we get into the thousands like I often do from radar, and the hundreds of thousands when we're close to the airport, that is significant. So this is something that you want to keep in mind when you live close to an airport or even several miles away. So, like I said, I'm going to go uh, drive closer to the airport and we're going to see what we get. Okay, so I'm about a little over one mile from the airport. Uh, very busy uh, intersection here, so sorry about the noise. But I wanted to film here because I stayed uh, near this, at this hotel last night and I was staying in my van actually, uh, but I was getting such high readings from the radar that it really concerned me. And I tried to shield my van as much as I could with some Reflectix, but the problem with radar is that it, it's very, very difficult to shield. So I just wanna show you what I'm getting here. And the flicker on the screen is I, I realize it's an issue, uh, but I'm getting spikes, maybe you can hear it, of the radar about every seven seconds or so, and it's about 3,000 microwatts per square meter right now. The highest spike I got was about 5,000, um, and so, like I said, radar is extremely difficult to shield. So if you lived a mile from an airport like this, that would be too close for me. I'm gonna see if I can get any, even closer because there's some residences directly across the street from the airport. So I'm gonna see if I can get over there and take some measurements at that location and hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter. Okay, so you can see here that I am at the airport. Uh, there's a plane going off right now. 
and you can see the radar right behind me here that's that's the radar spinning and so uh, I am actually across the street from a, from the airport and this is a residential area this is clearly a shop right here but all up and down this street there are homes so this is something that you want to consider uh, when you're looking at renting or purchasing a home and so let's see what I get on my meter here so um, there's clearly a significant amount of stuff going on here I'm turning the sound down because it's really uh, disruptive to letting me explain what's going on but you can hear that and you can hear the radar coming much more quickly now because we're so close to it. And I'm getting spikes of about 102,000-ish. The highest spike I've gotten at least is 102,000. So um, extremely high. And if you are a sensitive person or even not really, that's just way too close to be getting that exposure constantly. You know, if you're living in a home across the street here and you're getting spikes of 100,000 every few seconds. That's way too high in my opinion. And I have noticed um, among my very sensitive clients that they don't feel well near the airports. In fact, many of them say, I'm okay in the plane, oddly. It's when I'm at the airport that I feel so bad. And I've actually experienced that too. I'm not, I'm somewhat sensitive, not severely sensitive, but I, I don't usually know when I'm in the presence of radio frequency, but often when I'm in an airport, I get symptoms and, and probably because of the radar, because of the unique characteristics of the radar and um, how, you know, biologically impactful they can be. So that's, that's kind of the lowdown on radar. I really wanted to shoot this video so that you guys got, you know, some information on that because it is so important. And just like the first segment that I shot I was picking this up five miles away um, and that was with a lot of density in between that area and the airport even when I was just a mile away um, at the second segment significant density in between the airport and where I was buildings and trees but radar can really just kind of wrap right around stuff and so it's very tricky and very difficult to shield so keep that in mind when you're looking for a home. Uh, so that's, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you find this information helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so that you can be informed when I release new videos. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll be happy to, help the, uh, to answer them and to help you guys out in whatever way I can. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.